Marines have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. They have departed Paris Island for combat and conflicts throughout the world. The misty wheat fields of Bella Wood, the gritty beaches of the Pacific, the snow-capped mountains of Korea, the sweltering jungles of Vietnam, the parched desert sands of Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and every other climate place where Marines have sacrificed for country and core. The first call upon, the first to arrive, and the first to fight. The Marine Corps, the nation's force and readiness has answered the call to numerous hotspots around the globe, showing the world once again that the United States Marine Corps is America's premier 911 force. This island is so rich in history, so rich in tradition, that no Marine trained here ever forgets the sights and sounds of it. Marching on to the parade ground is Company L and Company P. They began their training on the 17th of July, 2012, and today's graduation marks the end of a demanding and difficult 12 weeks of training for them. These young men and women you see marching before you have met and mastered the challenge of recruit training. They have qualified with the service rifle and received basic warrior training. They have completed over 200 hours of academic instruction and participated in a rigorous physical training program that has developed their strength and stamina for the challenges ahead. Core values has been instilled in each of them. The meaning of honor, courage, and commitment. Marching before you this morning are 712 success stories. Each of them a testament to the physical courage, dogged determination, and unyielding commitment to excellence that define the title, Marine. This is what they have striven and persevered for. The right to walk across this parade deck as Marines. They have earned this title through demonstrated courage and achievement and now join the proud ranks of over one million Marines who have graduated from Paris Island. From this day on, they will carry on the proud legacy and history of the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marines of Company L and Company P.